Hi, I'm Danny Thompson, Client Relations Manager with Test to Genius. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to manage your user account. Once you've logged into Test Genius, in the main menu on the left hand side, go down to User Accounts and click that. I'm already there in this video, and once you get there, you'll see something that looks just like this. You'll see your users currently and a little bit of info about each one their name, email address, whether or not they have the ability to change access or add other users to the system. You can see how long they've been a part of the system. And then we have an edit button over here on the right hand side in case you would like to adjust their level of access to the Test Genius menu. If there's a user that no longer needs to be in the system, it's very easy to remove them. Simply find that person, click the box on the left side of their name, click delete users, and then it will ask you if you're sure. Once you click yes, the screen refreshes and you see your updated user list without that person. When it comes to editing a current user or adding a new user and deciding what level of access they have to your Test Genius main menu, it's virtually the same process. The only difference is with editing, you're doing it for somebody who's already been in the system. Let's go ahead and add a new user and show you what that looks like. So we're going to punch in a little bit of information about this user. First name, last name, email address. And then we need to assign them a generic but secure password, which they can also personalize at the login page once you provide them with this info. It needs to be at least eight characters long and have one each of an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, a special character, and a number. I'll go ahead and do that right now. And then from there, we can decide what level of access we want this user to have to Test Genius. And you can see the user access control menu mirrors our Test Genius main menu very similarly. You'll also notice a couple of folders with arrows underneath them. And if you click into that, it just lets you know that you can drill down a little bit further here into this particular user's level of access and customization. If you're comfortable with this person having complete access to Test Genius, simply select all over here on the right-hand side and it'll take care of that for you. And even from here, if there's only one or two areas you wanna remove, you could select all and then just get rid of uh, those one or two folders there if you'd like. But perhaps we only want this user or need this user to have the ability to invite candidates to test and then look at their reports afterwards. And when they log in, we don't need them to see anything else. So we can give them a nice clutter-free experience here. I will go ahead and just click the invitation management box. And everything in here looks good to me, so I'll leave that. And then I'll go down to reporting. I will create user down here in the lower right-hand corner. And nothing here is set in stone, by the way. Again, you can always edit it, but I'll create user. The screen refreshes. We see our updated user list with our new user. And that is how you manage your user accounts in Test Genius. Thanks so much for watching.